No, I just realized this dungeon could have been perfect to play during Halloween time. But now it's a few days after Halloween. Why? <laughs> What's up, YouTubers? Ow. <laughs> okay, apparently I need to kill you now. Whoa, whoa. This, that was an awkward camera angle. This is also an awkward camera angle. This is all very awkward. I'm making this harder than it needs to be. I wish I could just slip by you, but apparently I can't do that. All right, let me start from the top. <coughs> What's up, YouTubers? I'm Ryan Hansen One. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for the N64. In the last episode, we did the bottom of the well. And this episode, we're going to do a few side questy things and then head for the Shadow Temple. Does that all sound clear to you? All right, so first, I want to take out my Ocarina. Get my magic bean. Get my bugs. Alright. Just got a minute 46. So, like, we, we always get a timer when in Death Mountain Crater. Time before we burst into flames. Excuse me, I burped. Um, but, like, I notice, like, as the game goes on, like, the timer increases. Go get that skull. Alright, so that's all that's all we need to do here. Alright. So you got <laughs> this guy. Open the chest and surprise! If you find a key inside, you'll be able to look in left to right. 10 rupees to play, you wanna try? Yes, I do, my TV lost its signal because it does that whenever I record, and I don't know why. I never figured it out. The cords seem to work just fine. Alright, so normally this is, is like a game of chance completely, but if we take out our lens of truth, we can cheat! So yeah, fun mini game. Easy if you have the words of truth. Like you'd have to try to fail if you use the ones of truth and it still fails. And of course the further you get, the better your reward is. So like here we got a blue ruby right here. I just noticed like your rupee reward depends on the color of the room. That's a pretty cool detail. Now I got a red room, so it's gonna give us a red rupee if we got it wrong. But I'm not gonna get it wrong. Because I have the lens of truth. My TV lost its signal again. In the yellow room, does that mean we're getting yellow rupee? Nope, we're getting a heart piece. I spoiled it by showing what was inside the chest. In the Lens of Truth, you can only see what's inside the chest in this particular minigame. And nowhere else. So it's like the game wants you to cheat. Now, unfortunately, we're gonna have to go through all these rooms again. The TV keeps losing its signal. I'm gonna go back, all the way back through these rooms again. That's fine. All right, so now we got the speeding spot, so I can ride it, get ourselves a heart piece. And look at that, we, create, we completed another heart container. How exciting. Alrighty then. So when we play the Nocturne of Shadow, this is where it takes us. Now we definitely, absolutely need Den's Fire for this. Let's use Den's Fire for once. Alright, so 
to We are not done with the horror themed dungeons. Alright. My there is something wrong with the cords right now. Cause my TV has lost its signal like five times at least during this recording session. Anyway, this dungeon unlines the truth puzzles. Create the atmosphere, just like bottom of the well. It's awesome. Okay, I should have actually read that because that was actually like a really cool line, but it's like It said Shadow Temple Get off me, Red Dead. <laughs> yes, it said Shadow Temple, get off me, Red Dead. Shadow Temple. Here lies Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. It's just amazing. <laughs> Then, so you open the door, and here's a chest. And we get the dungeon map right here. Okay. Here's gathered Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. Just like I said. And okay, is my HDMI cord my HDMI cord like the cover of it? Okay, what is hidden darkness? Tricks is full of will. You can't see the way forward. I, there is something wrong with my TV. I'll just have to deal with it for now. Oh my gosh, this is like unplayable. Is there something wrong with my HDMI cord? I feel like this has something to do with it. It, it's like the cover's a little bit torn, but it still works just fine. And especially when I'm like not recording at all, my HDMI cord works just fine with just casually playing video games. I don't even know where I am. I'm lost now. Okay. Okay, there is so this way there's another door and yep guess who's back now it's less messed up this time because you no know, link's not a kid anymore so it's not frick yeah it's not frick okay it like link's an adult now so it's not messed up it's not child trauma Plus, this fight is a lot easier now that we have the big Goron Sword, which is like four times as powerful as the here. Yep, already dead. Didn't put up much of a fight at all. Still twitching. Ew. Alright, so our dungeon item is the hover boots. I do not wa know what to do about. There is something messed up with my cords. But it was like an occasional inconvenience in previous episodes. But now it is just. It doesn't want to stop. Um. I remember bombs being really useful in this dungeon. You can blow up stuff like this. Got all these cool skull walls. Okay, nothing there. Any invisible chests? No. I do have an invisible screen because TV cords. This entire episode is just gonna be me complaining about it. It's just like interrupting the flow of the video. Yes, yes, I do.
Okay. So we got the dungeon map and the dungeon item. Make my beak face the skull of truth. It's like only one of these skulls is the real one. So let's push. Yep, that was enough. Now, you ready for more food equipping? Yep, just like with the water temple. But at least we don't have to like keep pausing over and over because you don't use the hover boots as much as you use the you know the iron boots. I wonder if I could. All right, so I think everyone, at least a lot of people, know about the game grumps. And how they played this game without taking off the iron, the hover boots. So what if I was a troll and did the same? <laughs> I actually think I want to do that now. I am going to annoy everyone watching this video by keeping on the hover boots. <laughs> I don't know. It'll add an extra challenge to the game. I guess if it starts to become too much of a problem, then I'll take them off. Like, it saves the pain of having to swap them out. Okay, here's an idea. I'll keep the hover boots on for pretty much the rest of the Shadow Temple. And you guys can yell at me all you want for it in the comment section. But, once I finish the Shadow Temple, I'll go back to wearing normal boots. How does that sound? Okay, so we got these Grim, Re Grim Reaper statues. <clears throat> Is there... Okay, there's all kinds of invisible chests in this dungeon. I do remember that. Okay. It's so, like, this is basically... The blade traps... The blade trap thingies from... The Ice Cavern, except they're Grim Reaper statues now. Whoa, whoa, okay. Whoa. Okay, they should have done that. That was too big. Alrighty, then. So your sneak peek for what we're going to be seeing later in this dungeon. But I don't think we can do anything in this room right now. So I guess I just wasted my time. Okay. Now there is... We did unlock a door by collecting those silver rupees. So there should be... Yeah, I think it's this room right here. Let's open the chest. And yep, we get a small key. Okay. Let's be on our way. Let's ignore the Beemos. And... I think if we place a bomb right here... Now, let's just take out our hookshot and deal with these guys the fun way. For we, we need no effort whatsoever. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. And now we got guillotines! As if this game wasn't dark enough. This is a funny camera. Okay. Now there we go. Oh. Yeah, you have no traction whatsoever when you use the hover boots. So that's the downside of them. 
but I don't want to have to keep taking them on and off. Listen. Plus, they're just so fun to use sometimes when they're not annoying. All right. Come. He thinks he can grab me. No! Crap! Whoa. Oh. That was so close. That, al that almost hit me. Alright, there's a stealth host right here, but I'm gonna ignore him. Go back to this. And now we have invisible Grim Raper statues. As if this dungeon wasn't crazy enough. Okay. Uh. All right. Yeah, I don't care that that hit me. All right. I think we are to defeat all the enemies in this room. I actually think the keys in this room are invisible too. I love the use of invisible stuff. It's awesome. Okay. Yeah. I can kill you. Yep, that was all the enemies. And chest. Another chest. Arrows. There's a lot of placeholder items in this dungeon. And here's our gold sculpture. And you know what? I think we've done enough this episode. So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. And next time on the Legends of Ocarina of Time, we're going to be probably finishing up this Shadow Temple. Until then, been Ryan to one. See you guys next time. Bye bye.